had got on the ship and we was in the Carolyn Islands and I heard the uh, captain come aboard and said, this is your captain speaking and all those who want to, there'll be no liberty but those who want to volunteer to go out to bring in supplies be at the port deck in about one hour. If you want to play softball, be the at deck immediately. So you know I did, I was an at deck immediately, because I wanted to play softball. But when you're out there in the ship out there, uh, it's not too much fun. You know that the ship's going around like this, and sometimes there's Japanese planes coming over the top, or maybe there's a sub. Uh, come down below you. And so it's really not fun, but then when you realize <clears throat> that when you're going to go get in supplies or hit the land the next time, there's a chance maybe you can go out and play softball. So you have something to look forward to that helps you to enjoy life. I never remember when I was even farming, <clears throat> and uh, I was a dairy farmer when I came home, and that wasn't too much fun either. But I always look forward to playing softball up there at Harrison Smith Park. So when I bail and hay all day out there in that hot sun, I leave the bail, I leave the whole white and sit there and go up and play ball, and I was enjoying hot life. <clears throat> I was doing the thing that I wanted to do, and I enjoyed it. Uh, and then I even, um, when I went into Peace Corps, the same thing happened. I was watching the mayor when he first went in there, went over to the Dominican Republic, and uh, this was a strange land, a strange culture, and everything was different. But I went out there and I saw him roasting a pig on head of a pole through him, and uh, over an open fire, and I was very fascinated about that. Learn that. And then I looked at things, the car drove up, some guy jumped down the truck and he had some balls and gloves. And that got in, and I went over them right away and started playing with them. And, they, and I started throwing them off. And he said, uh, Luke, you want to, can you get away on Saturday afternoon? I said, I sure can. <laughs> he said, well, we, we play uh, in the league up there in the capital every Saturday afternoon. So then I had something to look forward to. Because that was, when you got out on the ball diamond, that's just the same as being home back here in Harrison Smith Park. And uh, I, uh, that helped me enjoy. They were fun to play with. <clears throat> and then uh, just before we uh, uh, stopped, I was ready to jump home. They had a big uh, game coming up. And it's going to be between two teams to play for the championship of Santa Domingo. And we was one of the two teams that was selected to play. So we went, uh, we loaded up a little bit with a couple of extra players, of course, and we was all ready to go. <laughs> but when we got there, we found out they loaded up also. And they had uh, some boys in there that uh, were former professional baseball players, and they were hitting that ball out over the fence. And uh, my teammates got all excited, and I said, hey, hey, don't worry about it. So when the game started by this, this farm boy from up Sandusky, Ohio, he walked out on the diamond, and I was ready to go. Didn't you guys ever play ball against me out there? Anyway, <laughs> you know what I did then. Yeah. I stood out there and I just smiled, you know, that him a little bit. Took my time, yeah. And then I, uh, then I gave him that slow pitch, you know, <laughs> spin the ball. And they never got the ball to the infield. <clears throat> And we had fun, it ended up that uh, we won the game three to nothing and we were the champions of Santa Domingo. And uh, they carried me around the field that and on afterwards. And that was the greatest skill I ever had in my life. And that uh, was fun and made life enjoyable. So do the thing that you like to do and try to do a good job at it and you have fun in life. You know, this is what the volunteers here for uh, <clears throat> open door. If you see any of those volunteers, you see that they're enjoying themselves. And they're enjoying themselves because they're doing something they like to do. Uh, volunteering, helping people. They like to do that. And they enjoy life. So whatever you pick to do, whatever, anything, enjoy it. I know you will. And now I got this ball here. I suppose I 
want to also get rid of this. And I, I got this sign here that says uh, Rubber Arm Luga Creek. Uh, 70 years of fun. And I got it signed. And I'm going to auction it off right now and uh, put the money in the jar, whatever the highest bid is. All uh, right? And I'll buy it now. Who will give me $10 for this ball? Who will give me $10 for this ball? Hold up your hand. Let's hear it. Who will give $10 for this ball? Then I offer $10. And I got $10. And who will give me 15 I got $10. I got 15 Who will give me 20 I got 20 Who will give me 25 Come on, man. Who give me 25 I got 15 Who will give me 25 Come on, man. I got 20 Who give me 25 Come on, man. I got $25. Who will give me $50? Anybody give me $50? All right. I got $25. Who will give me $30. I get $25 and so give me $30. Gone $25 once. Hey, I got $30. Alright, then now who will give me $40? I got $30. You give me $40. 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 Hey, I got $40 for this fall. And I got $40. And I'm going to get my $50. Who give me $50 for this fall? I got $50. I got $50 for this fall now. Hey, and who's going to give me $100 for this fall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I got $50. Anybody give more than $50? Anybody give $60 for this bar? Get $60. All right. Fifty, I got sixty dollars, not new, but seventy dollars. I got sixty dollars, this is going to go make a dumping country, and you'll give me something, I got to give me seventy cents, and then give me seventy, give me seventy, and you can give seventy dollars for this ball, seventy, seventy, seventy dollars for this ball. I'm going to go for sixty dollars. Once, twice, so, but 